can't see the present if you're staring into the past. You cannot have a past without having a present. And you cannot plan the future by the past. Not bad. Wonder what it means. How old do you think it is? Oh, I don't know. At least 10,000 years, I should say. I would place an early Bronze Age. Well, whoever owned this must have eaten his spinach. Wonder what ever happened to men like that. I believe they all moved to Bars, though. <laughs> I want you to send our findings back to England. I'll stay and continue the excavation. Oh, don't worry, Sydney. I'll also keep looking for your watch. Radio. Colorado on an archaeological expedition for the um, uh, 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 British Museum. Uh, perhaps you're not familiar with our organization. No! minutes to complete this quiz on last night's reading. If you did your homework, you'll have no trouble. If you didn't, well, I'll let you say I wouldn't make any plans for this summer, Maxwell. Man, if it's true only the good die young, he's gonna live to be 150. You must come at once, mighty one. The portal's nine steps to the west, 17 steps to the north. You know, for a bird, he sure has great timing. Uh, is that an all-purpose moan, or does it uh, signify a certain problem, Maxwell? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt the test, sir, but <gasps> I think I'm dying. May I see the nurse? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <coughs> oh, sorry, I didn't see you in there. <laughs> You coward! Where are you? Are we all the oxen free? <laughs> Hurry, you'll be safe inside. Hey, what's up, Birch? Another factory recall? You can't hide forever! When I get my hands on you, I'll tear you limb from limb! His name's Spike. Yeah, definitely a type A personality. Boy, I'd sure hate to be the poor slob who crossed him. There you are, Norman! I told you I'd find you! If you leave now, we can call it even. So we'll say you won. How's that sound? Now I'll rip you into little tiny pieces. We must do something to save Norman. Woo! Ah! Ah! Good idea. And while we're at it, maybe we could do something to save ourselves? Hey, what can I say, buddy? You got a magnetic personality. Everybody out! Watch your step! Oh. 
Are you all right, Norman? Yeah, I, I was just letting Spike think he had the upper hand. That pop quiz is starting to look pretty good. Ah! Oh, if I tear another pair of pants, Mom's gonna kill me! Hurry, mighty Max! Norm, is Spike always like this? No, he's usually not in this good of a mood. Norman! Hey, hey, hey! We were in a crosswalk! Come on, he'll never find us up there! I think we lost him. <laughs> Think again. Oh, what are we to do? There's no way down. <laughs> well, there may be one way down. No, no, I can't. If I were meant to fly, I would have been born with wings. Diamond! when you miss your train. I... I have a confession to make. I can't beat Spike. I can't win. Oh, say it ain't so, Normie! You can beat anyone! No. Not Spike. Really? Well... How'd you ever get tangled up with Mr. Congeniality there in the first place? It all started when I was a child, 10,000 years ago. I was living with my father, Ehrlich. He was a great warrior, but wished for peace in his later years. Our tribe no longer fought or hated or killed. But all that changed the day Spike came. If you come in peace, you are welcome. We have no quarrel with you. And we have none with you. Father! And now you die! Norman, my war axe.
If only I had gotten my father's axe to him in time, he'd be alive today. I'm supposed to be the guardian, but in truth, I'm a failure. Norman! Guess who? <laughs> suppose that could be the porter coming for our tickets, do you? Man, don't you just hate hangers on? Let's make tracks. Where's the nearest portal? If my calculations are correct, there should be a portal very nearby. I would say it's just about here, more or less. saying well it's your call normie you can run for the rest of your life or you can stand and fight to the death i just don't think i can win oh come on norm you can beat this wimp you're a big guy yeah but he's a bigger guy oh yeah he does make a point but i would like to avenge my father's death if only i had his war axe a war axe now, personally, I'd rather have an AK-47 and a couple thousand rounds of ammo. But you can beat him anyway, Normie! You gotta try. It is the only way, isn't it? Then, let us go. But why are we here? This is where it all began. It is time I returned home and faced the past I've been running from so long. Which way do we go? My guess would be that way. Oh, please, please let me go. I'll give you anything. I'll have a wing at the museum named after you. Okay, 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 the whole museum. I believe you're looking for me. I'm surprised you showed. You ran the last time I saw you. You'd run too if I had a face like yours. He's all yours, big guy. Break a leg. Uh, well, break his leg. Do you really think I can beat him? Hey, I got 50 cents riding on you, buddy. Don't let me down. Uh, excuse me, if you're still taking bets, I'd like five pounds on a bloke with a stick in his face. <laughs> oh, this is too easy! If I must die, Defending my honor, then so be it. Save the speeches! It's time I finished what I started 10,000 years ago! Man, if only Norman had his father's axe, he might have the confidence to win! Uh, excuse me, would that be a large war axe with a half-moon-shaped blade? Have you seen it? Oh yes, I dug it up several days ago. That's it! Norman has a chance! Oh no, no, I'm afraid not. I already sent it back to England. There's no way we can get it here in time to save your friend. Obviously, you've never heard of Mighty Max. Half portal, we'll travel. We must go at once. Go where? Don't worry, Normie! We'll be right back! <laughs> Ooh, amazing! What a fascinating way to travel! Yeah. And we don't have to put up with airline food, either. Oh dear, it's locked. What is the world coming to? Nobody trusts anyone anymore. I'm afraid with the time difference, we still have ten hours before the museum opens. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just have to break in. I say, uh, that sort of thing is illegal in this country. Sounds positively exciting. <laughs> it appears your friends have deserted you. Like the way you deserted your father. I didn't desert my father! You! You! Monster! Ooh! 
bricks and stones can break your bones. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. It's a shame soon it will all have to end. Oh, I do hope we're doing the right thing. I don't believe the Queen would approve of ruffians stealing her exhibits. How can we be stealing an axe that Norman already owns? Well, I suppose that is something to hold on to while we rot in prison for the rest of our lives. Hey, you guys! Over here! I found a way in! Any of those guys is Norman's dad. I believe it's over this way. security devices. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. Now first, I will have to disable the alarm wire securing the lid. Then, I will use a mirror to deflect the beam from the infrared motion detector. And finally, I will exchange an object of equal weight so as to circumvent the pressure alarm. <laughs> I got a better idea. Move. There's a portal nearby, but we'll never make it without a diversion. Hey, diversions are what I do best. Um, guys, do me a favor and don't say anything about this to my mom. You know how she gets when I destroy priceless museum treasures. Your father was a weakling, and so are you. Never talk about my father! Yes! I would be ashamed of him too, if I were you. I'm not ashamed of my father! It doesn't matter, you'll be joining him shortly anyway. Norman, here! <sighs> my father's axe. Now I can avenge his death. Over my dead body! <laughs> Works for me. If you kill me, you'll be no better than me. I can live with that. I'm not through with you yet! still must do alone. This week, Virgil, Norman, and I went to the Rocky Mountains, which stretch all the way from Alaska through Canada to New Mexico. I bet you didn't know they formed the Continental Divide. All streams east of the Divide flow toward the Atlantic Ocean. All streams to the west flow toward the Pacific Ocean. Kind of a big decision for a little drop of water. See you next week.
and screaming. Let's go huddle up, bustle. Coming. Oh. Looking good. Let's do one more, huh? One more. A request. Special play for Max. Huh? For, for me? I'm ready, coach. Let me at him. I'll make you forget old what's-his-name on the Niners. Hey, I already have. Good, good. Hey! He loses his man and breaks for the end zone, having fake Nagurski right out of his pants. He turns. He leaps. He's going. Going. Gone! Touchdown! The crowd goes wild. The million-dollar endorsements flood in. I got a feeling I'm not in gym class anymore. Angus, what do you make of it? Aye, it makes me forget all what's his name on the Niners. What happened? How'd I get here? A portal? In the end zone? <laughs> but where am I? Deep in the heart of the Scottish Highlands. Virgil! Hey, Normie! What's up, guys? What's going on? What am I doing here? Fulfilling destiny, mighty one. I diagram that play to bring you here. Presently, I fear no less than the world itself is hanging in the cosmic balance. Yeah, so what else is new? Hurry, Mighty Max, we must get to the portal. Only you can save humanity from the dread horrors threatening it. Kind of getting to be a habit of mine. <laughs> I thought I wasn't supposed to start scuba lessons till summer. <clears throat> it would appear something has gone amiss. <laughs> yeah, us! Mm. <laughs> Everything checks on the map, but there, there should have been an oil tanker here. Well, so what are we supposed to do, Verge? Wait for the next bus to Schenectady? Whoa, whoa. Holy Captain Nemo! <laughs> well, howdy, y'all. You look a little on the moist side. Need a lift? Like the thing the old sonar picked you up. You'll be having a mad at long swim home. Well, thanks, mister, but who are you and what are you doing out here in a sub? J. Ollie in the Pettibone's name. Ollie to my pals. All's my business. Ollie Oil. Might say it's my life. In fact, I do say it's my life. Anywho, whole slew of my oil tankers done gone missing around here. Well, I said to myself, self, if you're rich enough to lose tankers, you ought to be rich enough to find them too, don't you think? Never mind, it's a rhetorical question. I figure they went down. Or up. And if this here experimental submersible can't find them, well, <laughs> I'll just have to build me a spaceship. But I will find them. And when I do... What's that? What's going on? Hornet said just picked up something. Great Gorgonzola! Ooh, big old nasty shark headed right this way. And he's ugly. Whoa! Just smother me! Do something! Do something? Ain't nothing I can't do! I'm J. Oleander Pettibone! I'm rich, boy! Huh? Yeah! That there 10,000 volts of the finest electricity money can buy! Look at him! Running scared! <laughs> That's the power of money right there, boy! Ain't nothing it can't buy! You can quote me! Take care, mighty one. I have doubts about our host's mental stability. Not me. I know he's crazy. What's that you say, boy? Uh, nothing, Jay. Uh, just talking to my chicken here. Well, oh, that's real cute! Sad, but few. Poor kid must be a little touched. Whoa! Look at that one! Reminds me of my Uncle Billy! And look at those! Like mini light bulbs. Yeah, must be handy for blackouts, huh? Ah, the mysterious beauty of life under the sea. Truly magnificent, is it not? Rocks and fish and water. There's more to it than that. There's plants and microorganisms, whole ships lying ravaged at the bottom of the sea. It's a veritable graveyard. Look at them all. Oh, that one there, that's mine. And that one, my beautiful ships. Look at what they done to them. Well, whoever did this, watch out. I got boots made for stomping. I can help. I have big feet. Well, hold it. Wait a second. Slow down. We don't even know who we're dealing with here. Not who. What? Whoever, whatever. It don't make no never mind. I got money to buy any water fine. <laughs> You said it! Giant squid! Now we know what happened to those ships. And, and it's gonna happen to us. Lever, pull the lever, boy! We did it! We did it! We showed 
with that, Squid? Too little, I'm afraid. Squids of this type are known to have complex nervous systems allowing for rapid recovery. What the... Cobbin chicken? Pleased to make your acquaintance. My name is Virgil. And I'm a fowl, not a chicken. <laughs> It's called Run Away! A zig here, a zag there. Oh, I hope that squid hasn't read the coach's playbook. We home free yet, boy? I don't know. Looks more like the best somebody can buy is about to be eaten by a big mollusk. Unless. <laughs> there! It's our only chance! Those who can do, those who can't, hide! And if that fails, might you want? Can squid food, Verge. <laughs> Looks confused, like at a stockholders meeting. Boy, I tell you what, that is a mighty fine squid evading you done, son. How'd you like to work for me? Oh, yeah, sure, I can see it now. <laughs> VP in charge of squid evading. somewhere that squid's got us trapped in here man oh put it in park son we got enough fritters and champagne to last for months Whoa. The name of sauteed oysters we're not moving won't that squid ever learn not squid land well hot diggity this place is something else that's quite a resort they got hidden down here it's a city and quite an ancient one i should say yeah, and from the looks of it, everyone took a long weekend. Careful, Mighty Max. There could be danger among those ruins. Come on, danger's Normie's middle name. Isn't that right, big guy? Lead the way. <sighs> this here will make one pugnacious tourist attraction. Boys, we're millionaires, and I'm going to share it with all of you. <laughs> Eighty twenty, of course. Don't you think you'd better ask the local inhabitants first? Local smokers. <laughs> Ain't no one lived here for centuries. Even if they did, I'd buy them off. Woo! Ambush! Look out! Squid in the hole! Oh, look! It's just one little squiddy, dude. Oh, oh and several hundred of his pods! They look friendly, don't they? I mean, they don't look unfriendly for, you know, squids, that is, sort of. Not just any squids. I imagine they are an ancient offshoot of the more familiar cephalopod mollusks, the genus Loligo Orosha. But who cares what they is? It's what they've done to my oil tankers that's important. What? How do you figure? Where's the proof? Proof? What about a giant squid and them squid-headed things? <laughs> that's all the proof I need. Let's get it. Come on, go ahead and get after there, boy. Tear them apart before they get us. You can do it. I'm right behind you. Go on. No! They're not armed. I mean, they have lots of arms, okay, but no weapons. Anyway, they seem peaceful enough. Uh, how about it, squid dudes? Live long and... Shooting. <laughs> so much for diplomacy. That's showing them some guts, boy. They're running scared like rabbits. We gotta follow them. They may know a way out. Point me! Well, I gotta admit, this ain't bad for rapid transit. Yeah. No traffic either. Must have missed rush hour. Yeah, well, let's just hope that yammering chicken of yours can see as far as it can spin. There they are. A mighty one, right turn up ahead. And don't forget to signal. Hey, check it out, guys. It's the happening part of town. I guess they don't get many visitors here, huh? Those uh, street lamps are indeed. They appear to be luminescent fish used in the absence of electricity. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we're dealing with a very ancient civilization. 
Cool. What does it all mean? Don't mean diddly, son. Ooh, but maybe that dude. seen this much gold since my cousin got her cavities filled. Where those squid thingies go, son? I smell them dead ahead. There they are! Unless I'm sorely mistaken, that is the leader. But he seems to be very frightened. Frightened? <clears throat> One side, Feathers, let me deal with this. I, sir, have grievances, outrages, and assorted atrocities to be named later. I demand satisfaction. Heads will roll! I knew it. You're scared him to death, man. Well, I hope so. Serves him right. Ollie, what do you say we try a different approach? Okay, uh, me, Mighty Max, you, uh, Squid Dude. Um, my name's Calamaras. I am the leader of my people. Yes, I mean, you, yes, that is what I am, leader. You? English? But how? Trash, you throw it away, we pick it up, tastes good too. You're not going to hurt us, are you? We're, no! No, we're friends! And in, in fact, why don't we do lunch sometimes? Yeah, I'll show you around my, my crib. It's lots of fun. Babes, you wouldn't believe. Oh man, you'll love it! Oh, that would be lovely. We don't get out much, not since the squid trapped us here. Yeah, yeah, and I gotta tell you, I was meaning to ask you about that. When exactly did that happen? Oh, coming up on a millennium in June. Seems like only yesterday. What? Seems like only yesterday. No, 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 you've been trapped here all that time? Haven't you ever tried to... Escape never, not once, not us, no backbone. We're invertebrates, you understand. But hey, it's not about backbone, it's about the need to try, of pulling together. Okay, listen up, everyone. I say we can take that squid. Sure, it'll be tough, and we might lose a man or squid along the way, but just remember one thing. Your bravery today means freedom tomorrow. So let's do it! Yes! Get out there and beat that squid! What do you say? It'll eat us. No, oh, listen, man, I'm not just thinking about you. I want to get out of here, too. What can I do? I'm terribly sorry. We're very timid squids. Instinct, you know, like the big squid goes for the light. We go for cowardice. <laughs> How do you like that? The going gets rough and the squid turns chicken. I beg your pardon. Calamaris, you said the giant squid is attracted by light? That is correct. Well, then that means where there's no light, there's no squid. Yep, Boots, we can bamboozle. Yahoo! No, 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 wait, Ollie, come back! I didn't mean that! Strange man, strange words. What's he mean, Vamoose? I'm afraid it means trouble. Too late! They're often sailing. Wait! Wait for us! Ah, all is not lost yet. Look, it's the mighty one. You can't leave! You won't even be able to see where you're going without the lights on! Heave-ho, boy! We're busting out! This is my chance to run for the roses! Yeah! The opening must be out here somewhere. Now, if I can just see my way clear... The small size of it was the only thing keeping the giant squid out. Norman, I say, let's be off before. No, I move for no squid. It's no use, Norman. Norman. Wait, the light! It's drawn toward the light! Raise the light, lead the squid back out to sea! Yes, that's it! It's following us! Onward! Come on, baby, don't fail me now! Not with the squid going to town! Dog! Norman, hold the lamp towards the opening. No, oh, hurry, Norman! Now, 
bud. We're gonna head to that big oil tanker we saw coming in. And then... Forget that! Let's get the hay out of here while we still can! No! What's gotten into you, man? We're gonna save the day! Enough juice for one more jolt! Good! That's all we need. Uh, what, 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 what are you aiming to do, son? We're gonna blow that overgrown mollusk to bits! You got a problem with that? <gasps> I got two words for that plan, boy. In and sane. Hey, man, don't worry. We'll be long gone in the escape pod. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Hey! <laughs> I had to ask. With the crush like sardines. I hate sardines. So much for my customary heroics to say nothing of a promising football career. Hey, way to go, squid dudes! Crunch time, and the squids come through with the clutch assist! Man, who would have thought it? Now, we just get into position to blow that tanker, and... Ollie? Ollie? Oh, no! You've done well, Calamaros. My city, my people, we had to try just once. I fear Mighty Max is on his own now. Going somewhere? Well now, Mr. Macho Oil Tycoon. No, 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 you got me wrong. I'm just, I'm a coward. I admit it. I'm yellow as a rose of Texas. I ain't got no gallant or son. All I got's money. I guess it don't buy everything. Newsflash, Ollie. If the squid dudes can do it, so can you. Now get out there and be brave. Great speech. I guess you're right. But are you sure you won't be brave for me? I mean, uh, there's a hundred dollar bill in that far, you know what I mean? We're almost there, Ollie. Yeah. Okay. Hit the switch, Ollie! Hark! The end of the giant squid! But what of Mighty Max and Ollie? Move feathers now! Woo! Scratch one squid! <laughs> now you are free to leave this city if you want! And all thanks to your bravery! <laughs> and yours. Oh, shucks. <laughs> it weren't nothing. Share at last. It's like fresh money. <laughs> Almost. I'm sure my people will pick us up in no time. Now, don't you worry none about the movie rights, partners. I got me a sweetheart deal. We'll split 7 to 30. <laughs> Folks not gonna believe this adventure, but with you to back me up, we'll clean up at the box office. I can see it now. Names and lights, lines around the block. I'll make another fortune. <laughs> Adios, amigo. What do you mean by that? Hey, hey, where are y'all going? I need you to collaborate my story. Well, that's showbiz, Ollie. Well, you'll be sorry. You could have been rich like me. All right, then, look. How about 60 40? 50 50? <laughs> this week, we went into the depths of the ocean to battle a giant squid. Squids are invertebrates, which means they don't have a backbone. And giant squids are the largest invertebrates on Earth. They eat meat and have extremely advanced eyes that can spot their prey hundreds of yards away. Kind of takes the fun out of swimming, huh? See you next week.
painfully wrong. The time has come. <laughs> ah, my soulless ones. Go! Find him! Bring me his cap and his head. Attached to his body or not. Ah, oh, at last, a little peace and a little quiet. No school, no nagging parent, no brain sucking aliens. <laughs> But why this beach, eight gazillion miles from home? Why not our regular beach? To get away, Felix. Come on, every self-respecting kid has to get away once in a while. Uh-huh. Are you sure it doesn't have anything to do with the volleyball tournament? Of course not. I mean, sometimes a guy just wants to go where he won't be bothered. <laughs> and what makes you think anyone would want to bother you? I beg your pardon, uh, is that any way to speak to the guy who just last week, I believe it was, saved the world from certain doom at the hands of Skullmaster? I'm sorry. I thought I was speaking to the guy who just last week spent two hours in the principal's office for mooning the teacher's lounge. Hold on. Are you, um, Mighty Max? I'm so ashamed. I thought I told Virgil never to call me that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Max. Thanks. Oh, oh, wait, here's a, uh... Uh, rupee for your trouble. Wonderful. Next time I'm in India, I'll be sure not to spend it all in one place. I thought no one could find you here. Well, Virgil maybe, but nobody else. Okay, let's see. Max, you are in grave danger. <laughs> what else is new? You are being hunted by minions under Skullmaster's power. <coughs> This is important. They emerge from the ocean, and you will know them by their barnacled appearance and their ability to track the cat wherever Max. it is. Okay, what? This guy's not a friend of yours, is he? Um, no. P.S. There is a portal in the taco stand directly behind you. Gotta go. See ya. Max! You know, there are days I'm glad he's the one with the cap. Pass the bye-bye, baby! <laughs> ah, mighty one, thank goodness you're safe. Muchas gracias for the restaurant tip. Whew. You guys shopping for a summer place? This is no time for levity. Norman has your clothes. Dress quickly. So, all-knowing dude, who was the creature from the Ugly Lagoon back at the beach? He is one of Skullmaster's minions. They can track anything on land or sea. They are now tracking you. Why? What did I ever do to them? Nothing, mighty one. They're most likely undeviatingly following Skullmaster's orders, which I'm sure are to bring you and the Cosmic Cap to Skull Mountain at once. Well, bring them on. They'll give us something to do, right, Norm? Busy hands are happy hands. No, we cannot face them. Nothing can stop them. They are too dangerous. They're too dangerous. Oh, come on, Virgil. How dangerous can they be? We must run! Hold on, hold on, time out! Who are those guys and how do they hold their breath under the ice so long? It's not a matter of breath, mighty one. They don't need to breathe. They're not even alive. Not alive? Where are they coming from? <sighs> well, 
I suppose the time has come for you to hear the whole story. 5,000 years ago, there was a great and noble people that lived in a city hidden beneath the waves. But rumors began, the end was nigh, their doom was at hand. It was foretold that one day their city would be destroyed and all would perish. There was one among them who played upon the people's fears, claiming that he and he alone could save them from catastrophe. But that one was Skullmaster. Diabolically, he convinced the king that if all his people yielded up their souls to the crystal, they would survive. For where the souls go, the bodies can safely follow. The king ordered his people to transfer their spirits to the stone, but the people hesitated. So Skullmaster used his dark powers to tumble the very walls of the city, and the people quickly conceded their souls to the stone. But Skullmaster killed the king and escaped with the crystal and never released the souls inside, condemning them to the torment of being neither alive nor dead. With the power of the crystal, Skullmaster ruled the earth for centuries, until the original captera arose to lead the last of the free people against him. But the soulless ones were the hero's downfall, and he was trapped. In the end, the hero tricked Skullmaster into falling through the main portal to the center of the earth. He left his cap behind so that he and Skullmaster would never return. If only he'd listened to me, there was another way. Yeah, yeah. So what was his hero's name, huh? Gandhi? Saint Joan of Cap? His name was Maximus. <gasps> well... This Max isn't sacrificing himself for Skullmaster. Not on your life! We must run! This doesn't make any sense. What are we gonna do, run forever? I'm sorry, Mighty One. We must flee until you're old enough to fulfill your destiny. Old enough? Hey, I'm old enough right now, man. To go down to Skull Mountain? Look, I already told you, I am not going back down there. Besides, how do you know that's my destiny? Because I know almost everything. Oh, yeah? Okay. Who was the King of England in 1298? Edward II. Well, how many people are living right now in Calcutta? 67,982,732. Uh, 33. Sorry. Okay. Well, uh, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? Three. Whoa. Well, oh, yeah, well, it doesn't matter anyway. Destiny or no destiny, I am not going back down there to fight Skullmaster again. Forget it. Then we must keep running until you're older. Hey, I don't need you telling me what to do. I can take care of myself. Come on, Norman, we got work to do. Stop! Facing them will mean your doom. Hey, listen, Shamu. You should know that we've beaten everything from dragons to demigods, and we're certainly not afraid of a sushi plate like you. Well, don't say I haven't warned you. Take him, Normie. This can only end in disaster. <sighs> Yoo-hoo! Mr. Barnacle Guy! Well, shiver me timbers! It's a pirate's life for me! Judges scores for the Barnacle Guy! Nine! Nine point five! Nine point nine! And a six from the Romanian judge! This is in the prophecy. Uh, you know, Flipper, I'm really flattered by the attention, but don't
don't you have places to go, fishes to meet, uh, swimming to do, kind of? Oh. Max! Look after Norman, mighty one! This is the only way! the cat bearer, but, uh, I don't have any cap. Bad hair day, maybe, but no cap. Hey, watch it, pal! Good riddance, you booger-eating spaz! Now that's what I call jaywalking. Norman! Oh, oh speak to me, big guy! I hate Australian rules football. No, no, Norman. Norman, it's me, Max. We're in Rio. Virgil took off with the cap through a portal. Huh? What? Portal? We gotta find Virgil. Now, do you remember where the portal right here goes to? Uh, I'm certain it goes to Baltimore. Cool, let's go! Or was it Bangkok? Oh! Mighty one, where are you going? After the barnacle guy. He's drawn to the camp, right? And Virgil's got the camp, so we'll just follow him to Virgil. Right. You never know when you might have to immobilize some evil guy. Well, it's a good thing they move in a straight line. <laughs> Real easy to follow. Are you coming, Mighty One? Yep. Uh, be right there. I, I was just sort of looking around. Uh, afraid of heights? Would I, no, it, see, it's, uh, it's not that I... Uh, uh, it, it, okay, it's just that I was wondering if there was a better way that didn't involve falling. I really appreciate this, Normie. I really owe you big time. Uh, we're almost there, right, Normie? No! Norman! <laughs> and my mom wonders why my clothes get so dirty. I still don't get it. Why would Virgil take the cap? He probably thought you were endangering the prophecy. Oh, yeah? Well, he should just trust me. When have I not come through for him? Uh, don't answer that. Besides, if it's all fate, then it's gonna happen anyway, right? Some of it's fate, some of it's free will. Well, how do you know which is which? No, no, don't give me that Buddha smile. You know more than you're telling me. Could be worse. Could be a muskox. But I guess that's fate for you. Hey, check this out. Ink and hieroglyphics. Mulat loves Hyana. This is our rendezvous with destiny, huh? <laughs> you ever wish you were a bird and you could just soar high above it all? No. <laughs> uh, me, me neither. We're on the right track. No fooling, Sherlock. He's gonna get hit by lightning. Norman, Virgil once told me the cap is indestructible. Is that true? No one's ever done it. Yet. 
He's trying to destroy the camp. Even if it means turning himself into chicken cacciatore in the process. Come on! trench 39,000 feet deep in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, I know. It'll take a month to get out. Brilliant. And before then, we'll figure out how to get down to Skull Mountain to destroy the Crystal of Souls. That is my destiny. If such is your will, Mighty One. Now, would one of you gentlemen like to help me up? What's the password? Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Come on, come on, you guys, help me up. Now, repeat after me. I do hereby promise never again to refer to Virgil as Chicken Head. Oh, uh, when I get my hands on you! You cannot escape, Capbearer. You will be my This week, we wound up in the Andes Mountains of South America, where the Incan people built a great empire over 500 years ago. They did it using an incredible system of roads, more advanced at the time than any others in the world, and without ever having invented the wheel. Oh, man, just think if they'd had inline skates. See you next week.
octopus. Where are you now? Hey. <laughs> Who's there? Now what sort of trouble have we got here? Got in the tree, are ya? <laughs> Come on. Hey, you're not puss puss. <laughs> so my little camquad, run away with me to the casino, eh? <laughs> The moonlight on the Mediterranean will sparkle in your eyes like diamonds. So you will be mine and we will be married tonight. <laughs> anything, anything. <laughs> Mom getting married? To some guy with a bad French accent I haven't even met yet? <laughs> Not without inviting me. Oh, Martha, you tell the funniest jokes. Hi, honey, what's up? Uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> oh, wait, almost forgot. This came in the mail today. Okay, Martha, tell me another one. Hey, I didn't notice this. Thor, have you been sending away for Godzilla outtakes again? Virgil? Greetings, mighty one. I fear the world needs you once again. What? Didn't that just save it last week? Yeah, indeed you did. But you are to join us post-haste. Take the portal by the septic tank to Oregon, turn right at the Sequoia, third trunk from the left, then on to the Chinese laundry, and... Whoa, 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 whoa. hold the phone, would you, Verge? If I don't get this all down, I'm liable to end up in Albania. <laughs> oh. <sighs> so, this is Dunaglen, Scotland, huh? <laughs> Not exactly my kind of town. I wonder where Virgil and Norman are. Hello, what's this? Hey, just what we needed. Another gruesome killer in Donaglanari. That's the fifth one this week. Excuse me, did, did you say... Killing? You see, I was supposed to meet someone here. Uh, two someones, in fact. Uh, one of them's a chicken. No, no, lady. No chickens being killed here. Oh, for a second there, I thought it might be one of my friends. <laughs> maybe you've seen him? Well, no. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Maybe I've got them locked in my station house. Suspects like you. They likely, Chief Constable. I made this from the marks on the body, same as on all the others. Oh, you know, for suspects got an overbite like that. Oh, come on, Chief. Look at that beaky face. You know they're innocent. Why hold them? They're my suspects, lad. I cannot be letting them go. Suspects? What about their teeth? Dentures don't lie, man. They be proof of plenty for you to be letting his friends go. Same for the boy you got back there, Cameron. Professor McDougall, your newfangled plaster castings don't prove a thing to me. Anyone that wants can have a set of dentures made. I take myself. Well, looks like you're going to be sitting this one out a while. So it would seem, mighty one. Have you no compassion for the wretched human condition right under your nose? Cameron's a good lad. Give the word, mighty one, and we can be out of here. Norman, no. That is, uh, without law, there is only chaos. After all, we are innocent. We must wait for the chief constable to let us go. Thank you, Socrates. Hey, don't you realize there's a killer on the loose out there? We dare not jeopardize your freedom to act, mighty one. You are the key to harmony in Donaglen. Heavens! Crabby old coat. Cameron's not your man. Will you be ignoring the evidence till all of Donaglen's lying dead? Don't go away. I'll check in on you guys later. You've got to let Cameron go. You've got to let me help him. Stop hounding me. I want to be releasing suspects before the killer's been caught, so help me. Hey, who's this Cameron guy when he's in town anyway? The top bearer? Obviously hasn't been reading the latest GQ. So you are, uh, Cameron, I presume? You! <laughs> You must help me. Come away from there, laddie. You'll carry no commerce with that lunatic. Yeah, but, 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 but who is he? And what's he got to do with all this stuff? Why is he... No, 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 no. Never you mind, laddie. Here now, have you got logics? We'll have to see to it. No, no, wait. Come back. You must help me. We're so glad to have you, Max. Though I do wish you'd pick a better time to be visiting Donoclan. Ah. Oh. Putting the pail on everything. 
Limit on the werewolves. You mean big furry dudes who grow long fangs and hair on their palms and wear bad makeup once a month, like the Wolfman? Nay, lot. These be werewolves. Wolves who can take on the farm of men. When air the moons in the night sky, they roam the moors on all fours. Some say they were the original fathers of all wolves. Some say they were men, doomed to be animals forever. But as long as there's been a Donna Glen, the werewolves have been here. Really? Cool! Here now, shame on you, old wife. Spreading such old wives' tales. Pay him no mind, boy. Huh? Then, then you're kidding? Oh, I gotta tell you, you really had me going there for a sec. Hey, <laughs> part of being American, lad, he'll be buying anything. Tonight. Chief, what's going on? A wolf just tried to get me. Hey, Chief. Chief, wait up! Look, cannot talk now. I'm in a hurry. I made me rounds, and when I got here, Cameron's cell was empty. Aye, I got eyes, man. Cameron wouldn't have been escaping without someone helping him with a window. Yeah, and that someone must have carried him off, because the only tracks I see out here aren't human. Did you guys hear anything? Well, I was having a small lay down when the most disturbing howling woke me. Quite lupine, if you ask me. I knew it! Chief! Chief, I told you there was a wolf outside my window! Oh, for Lonnie, get out of there! You're stepping in evidence! Go on home now, go. You'll only be a bother to me here. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. See you later. Go home? <laughs> Fat chance, bub. Professor McDougal's right. <laughs> he is a crabby old whatever. <laughs> Closed. Oh, please, it's really important! Ladian, what's so important you got to be wake of the dead? Cameron, you say? Yes, that's why I gotta get to a phone! At last! Oh, gee, I guess I'm just gonna have to find it myself! Oh, boy! What are you doing here? Oh, it's you. I'm just looking for a phone, Doc. Uh, what is all this stuff? That? Uh, oh, I'm, uh, I'm experimenting with a new vaccine. The for rabies. It's of no importance. Rabies? But that's... Uh, sorry, lad. No time. Uh, you said Cameron's outside. Yeah, he's a werewolf. And he's the one who's been ripping people up. Werewolf? But there's no such thing, lad. It's not but a legend. Believe me. Oh, man, I don't know what to believe anymore. I, I thought I saw a wolf at the castle, and then he changed into Cameron. At the castle? Why is that where he saw Cameron? Oh, the, the poor lad. We've got to help him. We've got to get Cameron before the chief. Go. I'll be right behind you. I hope you know what we're doing, Doc. I don't even know how to get there. Which way? Hey, hey Doc! Professor McDougal? Where'd she go? Professor McDougal, where are you? <laughs> Cameron! <laughs> nice boy. Don't, don't forget, you're not a werewolf. Not a werewolf. There are no such things as werewolves, so it's no big deal. <laughs> Get out of 
of this. I'll never cut PE class again. Open Sesame! Open Saskatchewan! Open or I'm gonna be dead meat! I mean, first you try to kill me, and, and now... Hey, how'd you know I'm the cat bearer? Werewolf. I that I am. One of the immortal weirs of Donaglen, able to change from wolf to man at will. But kill her. I'm innocent. You're my only hope. I've lived for centuries. I've heard the legend of the Mighty One. Now I'm being hunted by a beastly terror out of partition itself. Only you can save me. It's him, the monster! I got an idea. Yeah, that will work. All we need now is a monster. monster will be troubling us no more. Thank you, Cupbearer. It's a sorrow my pack could not share any of this. I'm all that's left of them now. Pack? You mean there are others like you? Werewolves? Aye, we were mighty and proud once. But then the monster! One by one, the others vanished with nary a trace. Wait a sec. I've seen them. I know where they are. What? Are you sure, lad? I, I mean, yeah. Back at the professor's place. Come on, we'll give the chief a call first and then tell him where he can pick up his killer. <laughs> well, we tried the front door, the back door, and the side. I guess the professor's not home. If what you say is true, I fear she's fallen foul of the late and unlamented monster. There they are, on the tables! Great Scott, what's been done to him? They're immortal creatures and yet barely alive. Wait, Cameron, what are you doing? They're sick, they need that stuff. I like the plague. This contraption's been what's making them ill. But why would the professor do that? And why did she tell me there were no werewolves? I cannot answer either, lad. Only Professor McDougal can. Ah, mysterious phone calls in the night. Your killer's at Dun England Castle, Mr. Chief Constable. Indeed. Not here, but stones and rot. Oh, must have rocks in me head to be out here in a wild moose chase like this. <laughs> rocks indeed. Easy does it, gently like. There. Speak to me, love. It's Cameron. What happened to you all? Oh, they're pretty out of it. I wish Professor McDougal was around to tell us what she was doing. It's a good thing she is not, or I'd be telling her what I think of our research methods in a most ungentlemanly manner. Professor, Professor McDougal! Well now, a good evening to you both. The silverware's in the kitchen, and you'll find some heirlooms in the den. Would you be wanting anything else? Yeah, answers. What really goes on here? And what's this whole thing all about? Why, surely, lad. This is what it's all about. A serum, nay, the humor divine, 
Mysteries of the infinite wrapped in a tiny vial, each drop imbued with a werewolf's immortal essence. So that's it. You've been milking essence. But you cannot steal a werewolf's immortality, woman. It's non-transferable. Ha! You feeble-minded were. I'll have more of an immortality. I'll have the very power of life itself. This serum's itself the key. Long the universe has waited for someone to bridge the formative world and the material one. I can more live in tissue into any form I can gain. The mysteries of the infinite are answered in this tiny vial, for each drop of elixir is imbued with the light of the golden orb. Aye, more than you know. Well then, here's to the kill. Or, should I say, breakfast? Mm, 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 mm. Oh! Let my beloved pack be brought to their knees again. Come on, guys. Hey, you, get, get back here, and you too. Okay, okay, the werewolf is always right. Whoa, he's coming. Man, I gotta get these puppies out of here. Wait a second. Hydrogen gas. Electricity. Put them all together, and beep, that monster in her lab will go big time. There. That should fill her up in minutes, and then... Oh, no! They're getting mauled. Oh, man, I gotta throw something. All right. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And the taller they are, the sooner the ceiling hits them. Cameron, we gotta blow this joint before it blows. Cameron, did you hear me? Oh, come on, Cameron, I'm too young to come bust. Cameron, she's trapped. Come on, use your head. You're not just a savage animal. Think of your pet. Another day, another monster blown to bits. And so when the hydrogen filled the room, the sparks from the Jacob's Ladder ignited it. Aye, poor Professor McDougall. It was her fascination with wolves that drove her to turn and kill her, I suppose. Well, there you are. I suspect it had all of them. You see that? Slow but steady gets them every time. Now, as far as the law's concerned, I have me killer. You're all free men. Air and chicken. Oh. Chicken indeed. Eternal gratitude and a pack of facts to you. Fare thee well, cup bearer. This week we went to Scotland, which I think is a way cool place. The Scots built lots of castles starting around 1100 to defend themselves from the Vikings and the Normans and everyone else invading their land. They gave the castles names like Dunbarton, Scone, Threve, and Bothwell. Castle Maximus. Has a nice ring, don't you think? See you next week.
What is that? I don't know. And I don't think I want to be around to find out. Summer and no school. <laughs> well, I tell you, life doesn't get much better than this. Uh, perhaps I should rethink today's activities. immediately at the American weather station in the Aleutian Islands. Look to the right for directions to the nearest portal. Oh man, what a way to begin a vacation. Well, I guess being the mighty one does have certain responsibilities. <laughs> I hate it when this happens! <laughs> Verge, remind me to talk to you about the portals we've been using lately. Once again, you must save the world, mighty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the emergency this time, huh? Crazed ghouls, rabid llamas, three-toed sloths bent on world domination? The cold weather. Verge. Hello? We're in the Aleutians. What did you expect? Sand dunes and camels? A temperature drop is developing globally. Earth has been sent outside its orbit. And I believe the cause may originate here. Prepare yourself for the worst. We must be ready for anything. No one move or face the wrath of the Mighty One. Hello. Welcome to Weather Station Zebra Tango Niner. Can we help you? Phew. We got here just in time. Make yourselves at home. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, I... Oh, ooh, man. Your hands are like ice. Here, you can use my hand warmer. Go! <laughs> Thanks, but when you live in the Arctic for six months, you get used to feeling cold. Huh. Seems just fine to me. Very strange. I don't see anything strange. That is what is strange. Something is definitely wrong. Uh, guys, <laughs> this may sound like a silly question, but is everything all right here? Yeah, everything's fine. Except for maybe a little too much boredom. But I was so sure that impending doom was on the horizon. <laughs> Isn't that guy one of yours? Yeah, but he's crazy and dangerous. He's got to be stopped. Hurry. He went around the north side. We can still hit him off. You see? Something is wrong. I knew it. They're hiding something. I don't see him. Which way did they go? Over there. Something moved. I still don't see anything. How about you, Verge? Verge? You're not Verge? You can say that again, alien. 
Mighty one, Norman, wait for me. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought I was in real trouble there. You can't fool me. I know who you really are. You're the ice aliens. Look, I'm not an ice alien. I'm a red-blooded American kid. <laughs> you want to hear me sing the Star Spangled Banner? You can't fool me. You're ice aliens in the form of humans. But there's only one way to be absolutely sure you're ice aliens. I, uh, I hope you're not planning to put those where I think. Ice aliens have a body temperature that's sub-freezing. If you really are human, your temperature should read 98.6 instead of... 98.6? You are human! But I thought you were one of them, like the others. Y you mean the soldiers? They're all ice aliens? Look, I know it sounds bizarre, but once ice aliens capture a human, they can make themselves look just like that human. Oh, it sounds like a pretty reasonable explanation to me, but I gotta tell you, it would sound a lot more reasonable if we were untied. Oh, I'm sorry, but you can't be too careful. Now, how about doing my favorite song, Twist and Shout? Ah, ah, but I'm telling you the truth. I can prove it. Check my front pocket. They're photos of the others during the transformation. Oh, they're not very photogenic, are they? So, what made them come to the Aleutians? Couldn't find a room in Miami? The climate. They can only survive in freezing temperatures. They can't stand even a small amount of heat. Like a hand warmer. They're moving the Earth out of its orbit to create a permanent ice age. Then they'll have the whole planet to themselves. Yeah, well, if we're gonna stop them, we're gonna have to work together. Oh, no, Verge! I left them outside the compound with the ice aliens! The ice aliens kept off limits. It's just around the corner. Verge, you're all right. Oh man, am I glad to see you. You're not Verge, are you? What have you done with Virgil? <laughs> The same thing I'm about to do to you and your friends. Oh my goodness, would you look at the time? Gotta go. Mom doesn't like me out past nine. I... Seal the building. Check the rooms. He couldn't have gotten far. Hurry, over here. He must have gone out the window! Come on! If we hurry, we can still head him off! No, call off the search. But he'll get away! He'll freeze by morning. We can pick him up then. He'll just be doing our job for us. Should I board up the window? What for? It's finally getting kind of nice outside. Man, I thought they'd never leave. a fool would climb down there. Just wished I brought along an extra sweater. And I thought being the mighty one would be a glamour job. This is not exactly how I pictured my summer vacation. Ooh. Oh man, why would I have to run into ice aliens? Why couldn't they be Florida aliens? Ooh. At least I could wind up with a tan out of this. Huh. Not bad for a bunch of ice aliens. It has a certain je ne sais quoi. wonder if they have an in-flight movie. Oh, swell. Looks like they have the air conditioner cranked up all the way. I can't believe it's even colder inside than outside. I'm surprised these ice aliens don't all have the sniffles by now. Hey, this must be how they're taking Earth out of its orbit. I hate it when ice aliens drop by unannounced.
Yeesh! No wonder they like to change their form. I mean, if I look like that, I wouldn't want to be seen in public either. A sight for sore eyes. You okay in there, Burge? I didn't know he slept with his eyes open. At least I hope he's asleep. Hey, Burge, wake up! So you didn't freeze in the snow after all. Hey, what did you do with Verge, Verge? Ow! Ooh, man, you're cold. What'd you do? Fall asleep in the fridge? Pretty soon you'll be on ice. Whoa, chill out, dude! I love adventure banter. Verge, I'm sure glad you're alive, man. Thank you very much. That makes two of us. Now, exactly what is going on? Well, it's a really long story, but let's just say for a while there, you were foul under glass. Oh, look! Come on, I'll fill you in later. We still have to find the others. I hear something. Let me go or I'll rip out your spine and use it as a charm bracelet. I think we're getting close. Oh, I believe I understand now. The ice aliens can only remain human while they hold their subjects captive. Once freed, they revert back to their original form. What is that for? I think it's time we turn up the heat around here. It appears the ice aliens ignite when they rise above sub-freezing temperatures. Woo! Yeah, and they smell like old sneakers when they burn. Hey, funny running into you guys. I thought the ice aliens captured you. They did, but it's another matter holding me. What's wrong? How do I know you're not one of them? We've all been separated. Anything could have happened. That's true. And how do we know you're you? Why would I question you if I was one of them? Could just be a clever ploy to throw us off. Yeah, well, maybe you're questioning me. Questioning you is just a clever ploy to throw me off. What scares me is that almost makes sense. What do you think, Normie? I'm not even sure if I'm who I think I am. There's only one way to make sure who's real and who's an ice alien. Since the ice aliens can't stand heat, if any of us is an alien, he won't be able to stand the touch of my hand warmer. So, who's first? You, Verge. If you are Verge. Oh! An ice alien! Get him! Get him! Ah! I never trusted him with that beak. Oh, ouch! Hey, it is hot. I must have turned it up too high. You can let Verge go. He's not an ice alien. Sorry, nothing personal. Indeed. We'll have a long talk about this later. Come on, you guys, let's get out of here! Much time. Normie and I will look for the real soldiers. You two take care of the equipment that has taken Earth out of its orbit. Go ahead, Normie, and do what you do best. 
fun. What are you doing in there? I just left you with Verge. Uh-oh. I just about have Earth back in orbit. Oh, I'd love to see the look on their faces when they find out what we did. What happened? There, I did it. Earth's back in its orbit. Perhaps this is not the best time to revel in my accomplishment, but... Uh... We've got to find Virgil before it's too late! You think they saw us? What are we going to do? There's no way out. It won't be long before the ice aliens come crashing through. Hold on to your mittens. There may be a way out after all. How? Trust him. He knows. He's the mighty one. Oh, uh, mighty great. One great. Him, yeah. I believe this equipment controls the temperature aboard the ship. I'm afraid there's no time to figure out how this stuff works. True. Moments like these call for drastic measures. any second take the others i'm not leaving without that chicken and i'm not leaving without the mighty one i understand don't take too long you see virgil help, help. hey i'd know that familiar cluck for help anywhere hey Virg! help over there hold on noble chicken we'll save you I am not a chicken, I'm a fowl. Yeah, well, you're gonna be barbecue if you don't hurry. Earth needs to be saved, try calling 911, okay? Oh, but you did a wonderful job, Mighty One. You should be very proud. Oh, yeah, really proud. Look at me, Virgil. I'm covered with frostbite. Uh, I, I can't even feel my toes. Maybe I'll just move and get an unlisted number and a really big dog to keep away unwelcome guests. <laughs> so, Virg, what kind of dog are you most afraid of? Um, you know, just out of curiosity. Oh, <laughs> <Cat Vera. laughs> How true. No, no, really. Maybe I should consider retirement. I mean, I could get my own place, uh, maybe open a little restaurant. Hey, how about the Mighty One Bed and Breakfast? What do you think? This week, we went to the Aleutian Islands, which are part of Alaska, America's largest and northernmost state. The U.S. bought Alaska from the Russians in 1867 for $7,200,000. Oh, man, for that price, most NBA teams could draft the entire state of Alaska and still remain under the salary cap. See you next week.
You see, the meaning of your recurring nightmares is simple to interpret, mighty one. The unstoppable legions of the doomed will pursue you forever until one, their tortured spirits are freed from Skullmaster's crystal of souls, or two, you are dead, whichever comes first. Some choice. Well, there is another alternative. A sufficient gathering of heroes should supply us with the necessary qualities to tip the cosmic balance in our favor. Excuse me, you know real heroes will help? Why didn't you say so, Virgil? I mean, I've been running around almost getting killed all this time, and you're buddies with Batman? No, 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 no. Real heroes, the kind with certain attributes that make them uh, what they are. We should look to the four corners of the globe for what we seek. Beowulf from the north, Yona Yayin from the west, Hanuman from the far east, and Mujaji from the south. Mujaji. Cool. What a front line. I'll just sit back and let them save the day. Oh, no, 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 mighty one. We follow you. Me? But they're the heroes. I mean, come on, they're not going to listen to some kid. You are the cap bearer. You are the only one who can save us all from Skullmaster's dark designs. And save myself, too. Well, all things considered, maybe I am just crazy enough to do it. Excellent. Then off we go to Denmark. Oh, so this is Copenhagen, huh? And you say Beowulf is wrestling here? Yourself another manager, Joyky. I've had enough. Who are you, my new manager? In a manner of speaking, yes. This is Mighty Max, the cap bearer. He is here to lead you on a noble quest. Charmed. I don't know, Virgil. I mean, we're supposed to storm Skull Mountain with a big fat loser like this? Look at him! <laughs> Maybe we could drop the slob on Skullmaster or something, huh? He was a great warrior once. But that's just it, Norm. I can't believe that this is the same guy who tore off Grendel's arm in Hrothgar's Hall. The guy I read about and wanted to be like. You? You wanted to be like me? Oh, you... You shame me, mighty one. That's the idea. Just another golden idol from my childhood. Tarnished beyond hope of repair. <laughs> Enough! I can still master the old spirit and join you on this last quest, Cap Bearer! <laughs> I am Beowulf! Wow! Well done, my brother. And well done to you, mighty one. Your thorough knowledge of the Beowulf saga is proof that our beleaguered educational system is still doing a fine job. Whatever. Hey, let's go get us our next hero, okay? That's Yuna Yain, killer of monsters? Come on, he's a fossil. He looks older than the hills. How are we supposed to go into battle with him? Oh, okay, okay, you win. Don't... Shoot! A most impressive display of skill, warrior. Indeed. A joy to behold. We go now. Well, looks like we've bagged our second hero, Verge. Truly, it was clever of you to stand next to the rattlesnake, mighty one. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, uh it's always good to have a plan, you know. So this next hero's ability is wit? Like, what, he thinks fast on his feet or something? Yes, like Odysseus and the Coyote Legends. He's intelligent and a trickster. Behold, Hanuman, the Monkey King. You're kidding. This flea-bitten chimpanzee is a hero? <laughs> What's he gonna do, throw banana peels at Skullmaster? Truly, mighty one, he is a lion among monkeys. Hello, great warrior. The time has come. We need your heroic qualities to aid us in our quest. 
Oh, oh, sorry to disappoint you, mighty one. Oh, I know who you are. But I've given up the strenuous and uncertain life of a hero for the ease and luxury provided by this zoo. Oh, dear. All the comforts of home and no running around having stupid humans trying to skewer you with a sword or a spear. But you're a hero. We need him. Okay, fine. Then we gotta bust him out of here. Whether he wants to or not. No, you can't do this. I do not want to be a hero again. Please. Sometimes you gotta do things, whether you want to or not. Yes, sometimes you do. Leroy, I want to bag me a rhinosaurus. I am a Mujaji, she who must be obeyed. You are breaking statues 37A and 451B, E and F. If you fill out the forms in triplicate and file them with the hunting commission, there are other animals you can hunt. But that rhino is off limits. Just read these! That's Mujaji, the warrior woman? Oh, scary. I bet those big mean rednecks are quivering in their clod hoppers. She was not always thus. Civilization has quenched her fire. You know her, Norm? Oh, Mujaji! Did we two vanquish the harpies with a handful of flimsy papers? And what of this garment? Where are your warrior's vestments? I hardly recognized you. Norman! Uh, these are different times. One must change or perish. I fight my battles with red ink and correction fluid now, but the fight continues. And this suit costs $900. Thank you very much. Change is affected by the edge of a sword. Not anymore it isn't, you great water buffalo. Well, this is really great. We come all the way to Africa to find a hero, and we come up with a glorified paper pusher. Who are you, boy, to question? Mighty one, forgive me, I did not notice. How may I help? Ah, forget it, Mooj. You got nothing we can use anyway. But I'll tell you what, I'll give you a call if I ever need a good lawyer. Nobody I can see. Welcome to the quest. Farewell, brave one. Be good. Since the one portal leads directly into the room of the crystal, it should be a simple enough matter for us to gain access, destroy the crystal. I just don't think I can do this. But mighty one. Stop calling me that. I'm not mighty. I'm just a kid. These guys, waiting for me to lead them into Skullmaster's jaws, they're mighty. I, I mean, what if I say the wrong thing or, or if I lead us into a trap? You must do this. It is prophecy. <sighs> well, look. Oh, oh, okay, okay. How about this? What if I just open the portal, wait here, and, and you guys can smash the crystal, huh? I promise I won't budge from this spot till you're back. And how would we get back without the cap bearer to open the exit portal? You need an exit token? Here! I won't take it. You are the mighty one. We are yours to lead. Hmm. Let's start walking. I'll show you the world. Anything's better than dying. But what about Skullmaster? Ha! If it's not one evil, it's another. He's been around for 10,000 years. He'll hold. But this is his destiny. He cannot walk away from that. Oh, I did. Only you could have gathered these heroes in the first place, Mighty Max. You were born to lead them. The fate of the world depends on you. Forget the world. What about you? <sighs> I think I'd rather be in Fresno. Well, I have to. Hey, okay. The crystal of souls should be right over... gone! It's a trap! I told you I wasn't the right guy for the job!
I mean, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the guy who's gonna have to get us out. Hey, <laughs> they always say two heads are better than one. I'll take no hands. Ooh, not bad. You two make a pretty good team. Spare me. Wait. I hear the earth screaming. Move! How did you know they were coming? Intuition, mighty one. You must use your intuition. It will open your senses and anticipate the movement of the world around you. And never stop fighting! I stick my neck out for no one anymore. <laughs> Not the most heroic philosophy, my hairy friend. But it does have its merits as far as survival is concerned. Staying alive is all that's important to me. Since my karma is somewhat shy and spotless, I'll probably be reincarnated as a tapeworm. Whoop! Out of the way! Heads up! Coming through! Hero on the loose! Whoa! Nice shooting, bud. So that's legendary skill, huh? Oh, man, thanks. It is nothing, mighty one. Skill is merely focus. When focus is achieved, you need only release it. Yes. Use your wits, kid. Stay on the high ground. After you. See? Nothing to it. No! What is your destiny, my final arrow? Don't you have somewhere to go now? Oh, yeah. Hold the fort here. I'll see you on the way out. I swam in the blackness of Earth and I... Mighty One, Beowulf fights with great spirit, does he not? Killing them all, run by run. <laughs> Death was my error, then I did it for Yeah, run. but he's got a tin air. Listen, Verge, I got this feeling that I'm really getting close to the crystal. Intuition, mighty one. The teachings of Mujaji are taking hold. The crystal waits in a cavern at the top of these stairs, as does Skullmaster. Skullmaster? By myself? Well, why did we recruit all of these heroes if I gotta face Skullmaster by myself? You are not alone, mighty one. The heroes have allowed you to come this far. They have taught you many things. It is your destiny to face Skullmaster and shatter the crystal. So you keep telling me. The fate of a million doomed souls, of the very world, rests upon your shoulders, mighty one. Great. So it's a no pressure kind of thing. Is that what you're telling me? See you, Verge. No need to lead me into the jaws of death. I'll carry you. <laughs> Got to it, Mighty One. Remember, a powerful spirit will overcome any obstacle. Say, dear fella, let me show you a little trick I won't start a guy named Grendel. <laughs> Welcome, mighty one. Enter and die.
which remain to you. I will teach you a thousand subtle shades of pain, a hundred ways to die, until I finally lay your lifeless body at my master's table. You can! You can't beat Skullmaster! He'll kill you! Yeah, well, maybe I'll come back as a butterfly. Prepare to find out, insect. Run! It's my destiny. You gotta help him! We must hurry to the exit portal so his sacrifice is not in vain. But you... It is the way of the cosmic balance, mighty one. The exit portal is approximately 30 feet in that direction. Just like last time, how could I forget? And no digging machines to ride out on as before. Oh, some leader I am. Alas, poor Hanuman. Ah, oh, well, he'll soon have company. And the last to die will watch the first five go before him. <laughs> Say, mighty one, I see your plan. As do I. Pujaji! They cannot do this! Kill them! Kill them all! Come on, everybody! Time to book out of here! We must hold Skull Master at bay, or no one will escape! It is destiny, young Cap Bear. It is fate for us to make this stand. No! We can't just leave you guys! We'll manage somehow. If not, I'll see you in Valhalla! No! Mojaji! Go, brave one. Be good. It is destiny. Mighty One. week we went around the world to find heroes who could help us defeat Skullmaster, Beowulf from Europe, Yona Yain from North America, Hanuman from Asia, and Mujaji from Africa. Every culture, every land has its heroes, and there's something we can learn from all of them. We should all remember that. See you next week.